Now we're going to take a look at the Catacombs and Critters Pack. The Catacombs and Critters Pack contains 25 exclusive items. They don't give XP, but it's a puny price to pay to get companionship in your dungeon lair. Based on a preview picture, that looks great. Now let's see what we have here. Now I like the design of the actual lock there. We have ourselves uh, pretty much a marketplace right here. I do not remember what it's called, but it's pretty much a little market stand that has a lot of food right there. Now that looks absolutely good. Then we have ourselves, let's see, I would not say a gypsy perhaps, but it looks like another character. I'm trying to remember what it is. Is that claws? No, no, those, those are fingernails. Okay, well, you're not a witch. I just don't remember exactly what you are called. I didn't try to remember my RuneScape days here. But I know that this is a centaur right there. So that's pretty cool right here. And is there a different one that we could see? Nope. Pretty much a standalone, well, tuber right there. They're technically called tubers here. Then we have ourselves a phoenix. Now I love phoenixes. Those are really cool looking right there. Okay, you, you two could talk to each other. Then we have ourselves a griffin. Now that is pretty cool. We have ourselves a griffin here. Okay, now let's see the Grim Reaper. Now this is actually really good for the Halloween here. Look at that. You have your scythe. You're ready to go. You'll be at death's door. You could have yourself guarding a mansion or something. Is that what are the possibilities you have with the Halloween event with death right there? Then we have ourselves a, well, oozing monster here. Look at that. I thought you were glowing for a second, but I just remember that you're highlighted because you're on selected mode. Okay, so even then, goo monster. And we also have ourselves a type of gooey room right there with the slime on the walls and the floors. And you have, well, goo as the actual pixeling. You can make yourself a slime room with that. Now that's perfect. Then we have ourselves five of the walls with the bricks that we have bought earlier, which I have 255 of. This is going to be a good... Wait, let's see here. Can you change the design? Okay, not much really. Okay. That's cool though. That's cool. You can have little tiny windows if you wanted to do that. But even then, I could we can make ourselves castle walls with that now. So that's really, really good design right there. Then we have a pixie here. I don't think that's a fairy. I think that's a pixie right there. There's two, there's two different ones. Uh, well, in any case, let's see here. I'm going with pixie. That's what I'm going to go. Final answer. If that's wrong, then I'm wrong. Five ravens, though. You're purple? Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Five ravens right there. What are a group of ravens called? I don't even know. In any case, we have ourselves an ogre right here. Now, that looks like World of Warcraft right there, too. That's pretty cool. Last but not least, we have ourselves, well, let's see, Hercules. I'm calling you Hercules. Why not? Why not? This is mythical. This is fantasy. It could be anything right here. So this is the second pack. Out of the two packs, I say the first pack is my favorite with, of course, the dragon right there. And then, oh, the trees too. Those are decorative. But for this pack, let's see which one would be my favorite. Honestly, I would have to say... Well, top three, the food, the griffin, and as well as death. They're all decorative. They're all cool looking. So that's pretty much my top three favorite picks out of that one. But for you guys, let me know in the comment section below, which pack did you like better? The first one or the second one? And which one are your favorite items out of the two packs in total? But that is all for this one, that this is all we, we have for the pack to show. And there's nothing else to do except to play a little bit of Puggle just to get the items out of the way.